All right. So now what we're going to look at is uh, a group of programs. Uh, it's really a suite called Cameo. And Cameo was uh, developed in conjunction uh, with the EPA, NOAA, and the Coast Guard. And it was really designed to do Tier 2 reporting. And if you don't know what Tier 2 reports are, uh, the reports facilities are required to submit to their uh, local or state authorities saying what chemicals they have on site, uh, how they're stored, what kind of quantities, things like that. And it's really there for the emergency responders. So when that uh, came out, these three government agencies uh, gave us the ability to upload all that information in free software. I don't know of anyone who's using it. The state of Alaska used it once, and uh, I personally really liked it because I took all the data and downloaded it, and it was all on my computer for all the facilities, and then they never went back and used it again. So, But what I want to show you again is the download, and, and again, I would encourage you that um, if you have your own laptop or PC, uh, download this stuff and follow along with me and uh, we'll have an exercise using these programs as well. So the way I find it is I always just put in uh, Cameo Chemicals. And you'll see a mobile version come up and I'm not real familiar with that. I have not actually downloaded this on app yet. Uh, Cameo is kind of bulky and a little bit chunky, so I've always decided just to use it on my laptop. Um, and as I said before, it's really hard to run an incident from my phone anyway. But here you go to Noah's site, and they talk about Cameo chemicals. And if you want to download it, here are the uh, app versions of it for either Apple or Android. Um, and then you've got two downloads here for Windows and Mac. Now, the other thing it's going to talk about, if you scroll down, is the Cameo Software Suite. And so if you click on this link, it's going to give you uh, the other apps I'm going to show you, or programs, rather. Uh, the one that is really for Tier 2 reporting is Cameo FM. And it's probably the one I use the least because no one's using it to uh, do Tier 2 reporting. But there is some kind of nifty little things you can do in there for yourself. If you want to build your own information. The other one is Aloha. Aloha is a plume modeling calculator and it does some I think some really kind of neat things and again we'll have an exercise where you can lay a, a plume. It'll probably be the chlorine exercise just like we did for Wiser but we're gonna get a little better information out of Cameo when we run that exercise and have these programs model it. And then you have Marplot. Marplot is a mapping tool that basically you take your plume that you've made in Aloha and you lay it on Marplot and it shows you uh, where this chemical is going to go. So these three work hand in hand. I typically use Aloha and Marplot in conjunction more than I tie them into Cameo Chemicals or FM, but you know, sky's the limit. And my disclaimer here is I am definitely not a power user. It actually took me a long time to find someone who could show me how to use these really well. And uh, it wasn't the EPA. Everyone from the EPA I talked to, they're like, oh yeah, I don't really use it. It's actually an EPA contractor in a hazmat symposium that I, I signed up for the class. I signed up for a basic class and a uh, advanced class. And, that, and that's where I learned my stuff. So. I guarantee there's some stuff that these programs can do that I don't know how to do. If you're a GIS person, you may know or easily figure out how to upload your own maps into Marplot. I know that is available and you can do that. Uh, that's a little outside of my skill set. So I moved all the icons over here just so you could see them all together. So the top one is Cameo FM. Uh, the next one is Cameo Chemicals, which is just basically a chemical database. Aloha, the plume modeler, and then Marplot, the uh, mapping program. So what I'd like to do is go through Cameo FM first and just kind of show you its features. So when you open it up, you're going to see a little home screen here. And it basically has icons for Cameo Chemicals, 
Aloha and Marplot. But then it's got some others. And this is really what makes Cameo FM uh, the program it is. Now, if you hit search for a chemical, it's really going to search these databases. And this is all user input stuff. So it's not like it's really going to find anything in Cameo Chemicals for you. It's trying to find a certain chemical in a facility that you put in. And then you can also search for a facility as well. So what this looks like is if you click on facilities, here is where you can add a whole bunch of facility information. And I don't have one in here. But if I want to put one in there, I just click on new record and it's going to give me this uh, little drop down box. And there is a lot of information here. Like I said, this was really made to satisfy tier two report. So anything a tier two asks for, Cameo Chemicals will ask for. But basically, basically it's got the facility name, the department, the year of the report, uh, how many sites. If this company has more than one site, you'd, uh, mark that there. When you get it down into this, it's got a whole bunch of little tabs here. The first one is address. So you just basically can put the address of the facility in there. You then click on facility phones and you can type in the facility phone numbers. Like uh, uh, if they had a 24 hour contact number, you can put that in there. Uh, it has the contacts, so like maybe you want to list a facility manager or maybe a security contact in, in case it's a secure facility, you know, who you can get a hold of at the facility. Here's their chemical inventory. Now, when you add a chemical to this list, it will actually pull it out of Cameo Chemicals. And, and so when I hit the add chemical, it's got the location of where it's at, the physical state and quantity, uh, the components of it, if it's not a pure chemical in Cameo, uh, the dates that it'll be on site, um, state fields, that's not a tab we can do, and then any notes. So if I go back to these, here's a checklist. So again, this is just a tier two checklist to make sure you've done everything that you should have. Uh, you got IDs and registrations that you can put in here. You got, um, well, there's a state field again. Here's the map data. So this will actually tie into Marplot. And so if you put the latitude and longitude in there, um, it'll plot this facility into Marplot on the map. Um, a site plan, uh, if you have any. And what I've seen most people do is they'll just add an attachment. Uh, literally, I've seen like, sketches of a facility on notebook paper that have been scanned in here but hey that that works you know that picture's worth a thousand words and then of course any notes that you want to put in there so that's what the facilities looks like and of course if you had more than one you've got the little arrow buttons up here that would scroll between facilities so let me close that out and I will go to chemicals and inventory. Again, this is tying into uh, the, the facilities. So if you, if you go to a certain record, it'll show you all the chemicals in the uh, inventory here. Uh, contacts, if you wanna just look at all the contacts, they'll be here. So it'll show all the facility contacts here. Uh, same with chemicals, it shows them all. Uh, special locations, again, you can put in any special locations in here that you want. Maybe uh, you want to put in some uh, exposures like a, a school or a hospital or a clinic or something like that. You can actually track routes in here. So if there's route controlled hazmats, you can put all that information in there. Uh, under routes, we got screening and scenarios. So uh, again, you can run scenarios in here or document scenarios in here basically um so it's it's a pretty powerful program if you put it in here oh i skipped incidents i wanted to show you incidents so i was actually one year of the hazmat team putting incidents in here and when you do put in your incidents and it probably uh works best for like a hazmat team where we respond all over the borough or all over the state for that matter um, probably wouldn't work that well for your facility. I suppose it could if you had a big enough facility. But basically it asked me uh, if it was a route or a facility. I click facility and I click OK. 
And then uh, if I want, oh, sorry. Okay, well, it is not working for me. So I just downloaded this version and I'm not sure why it's not letting me put in a, um, oh, it's asking me, sorry. I don't have any facilities in there. That's what it is. Um, which that's a change because I used to be able to put incidents in here uh, before and wouldn't have to have it attached to a facility. So actually, I think that's me doing something wrong. So you guys will have to bear with me here. <laughs> it's been a long time since I put stuff in Cameo uh, FM. So what I did is I pushed neither. Hey, this isn't associated with a facility or a route that's already in the database. So now it's letting me put something in. And what I would do, or the year I did it, what I would do is put in here all the information of the incident, so where it occurred. Um, I like that they have mileposts, you know, they're thinking of Alaska for sure. Um, here's some information on, you know, the date it was spilled, when it was discovered, when it was reported, if you know that information. Here's the source, so it lets you pick, you know, pipeline, Highway cargo tank, vessel, above ground storage tank, below ground storage tank, whatever. If there was a vehicle involved, you can put that in here. And then the chemicals. So again, the chemicals, if you uh, go in here and find a chemical, it will actually tag it into Cameo Chemicals. And if you want to view it, it'll pull up that data sheet. Uh, it's got like a little cause, you know, hey, first of all, you know, where did it go and why did it get there? And then it's got some little narratives you can punch in here. It's got the notifications. You know, who did we report this to? Did we did we report it to DEC or maybe we had to call the uh, NRC and report it to the Coast Guard as well? And then you can list who uh, was the reporter. You can even type in an agency notified, all that good stuff. The response and evaluation. So basically it's like, hey, who responded and what kind of type of response were they? Um, and then follow up required or follow up received. You know, you can type your narrative in here, the response. Of course, here's kind of a morbid box, but you can report, uh, re record any injuries or deaths that was associated with it or property damage above $50,000. Uh, again, where the spill occurred, so you can put the latitude and longitude in there. And what it'll do is it'll plot it on the MAR plot for you. And then, of course, any notes or documentation. I actually scanned the year I did it, scanned in like our 201s and our 2014s and stuff like that that was associated with the incident. Um, you know, I only did it one year. It was really, you know, being part of an all volunteer team, it's hard to find time to do all this stuff. And so I wasn't really good about carrying on with it, um, you, you know, but hey, it, it, it's kind of nice at the end of the year if you fill out this as a run report to look at Marplot and you can see like in the borough or the state or wherever, uh, everywhere you've responded. And it's, yeah, you know, limited value, but it's kind of cool to look at a map and say, yeah, this is, was all our incidents for the last year or five years, however long you want to run the data. So that's basically Cameo FM. And uh, I download it. Uh, you know, I don't know why I do if I'm not using it all that much. But uh, I suppose there's always the hope of, hey, I'll put all this stuff in here. You know, if you are in an area where they're running pre-plans, uh, the facility information, you can upload the pre-plans in there under documents. And that, that would be a, a pretty neat thing to have. So there's Cameo FM. When we return, we will talk about Cameo Chemicals. <laughs>